today is we have this uh, big crypto event uh, organized by Mr. Siddiqui on the great mission and vision and we are uh, part of a shub group which we are launching our own crypto and exchange and you know through this great event will be a great start and beginning of our promotion of our crypto and exchange. We are based, uh, of course it's an international company, but we are based in uh, America, North America and now we are launching all over the world. It's going to unite and empower the entire humanity. It is the technology for the entire humanity, not for one country or two countries, no. No, it doesn't need any control because it's against control. Because the biggest problem of mankind is centralization of power and money. Like last 300, 400 years, the centralization of power was existing in the world. So because of the centralization of power and money, 99% of the wealth and power of in this universe of the world vested in the hands of less than 1% of people and groups. For oh, Dubai, we just came here a couple of days and everybody is exciting. But I think uh, even as you know, the crypto world, which is dominated by two or three players, Bitcoin, Ethereum and uh, Binance, I guess. And then the rest of the coins are mostly short term, mid term. But I think there's a you know huge opportunity because crypto is just probably the biggest revolution today happening in the financial world. The most powerful people, visionary people on earth, including the upcoming people like that, me and uh, <laughs> you know, uh, everybody is important, everybody is unique. Okay, and that's the first step. And the first edition of uh, Universe Lyco is going to be released in uh, Expo 2020. And now, we, with this uh, occasion, we are launching on our own crypto and exchange a coin called Shub S H U B H. And uh, it's uh, the Ethereum, the exchange, which is a, a universal exchange. You can, you know, we just launch, and uh, it's a huge response we got here, as well as the rest of the world. And uh, you know, so we, uh, what uh, uh, the vision and mission uh, Mr. DK has, we want to support and to create a better world. Yeah. It goes slowly, but from the ground, you have to go to the poor people in the uh, schools, small schools, and. Uh, like uh, labor camps where people are living, we have to do that small events there, so bring them into that. So then it will come uh, everywhere into market. You know that we created the first digital university in the world for blockchain education. So we spread fundamentals of blockchain technology to the entire world starting from high school, uh, school levels. Okay, it's because we need fresh brains. And fortunately, everybody in the world was suspecting that uh, India is going to ban the cryptocurrency. And the Indian, there are 50 million people already invested money in India, in crypto. More than 200 billion dollar, more than, invested in the crypto. So everybody was in panic. Oh, it's going to ban, then what we'll do, where the money will go. So all of a sudden, the blessing come from the Indian government headed by our uh, dynamic Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He is a man of technologies and, in, and inventions. And he knows, he understands what to do. Okay, so he realized that blockchain is the future, crypto is the future. So, in spite of all the odds, all the opposition from his own party also, he decided to proceed it with a good plan, okay, give 30% to the government. Uh, it depends on the, the government involvement, but so far I think is looking very promising. And uh, it's just the tip of the iceberg, it's just the beginning, because uh, it's the crypto revolution really started 10 years ago. And, and really last two years, since the COVID, it really boomed, because a lot of uh, youngsters especially, they are all in the crypto. And if you look at probably less than 5% of the world's population is in crypto. And just India alone, last two years, about 100 million people joined the revolution, which is the biggest. Yeah. So I think uh, it's not about the, uh, I mean, you know, that now because of the this uh, fast moving technology, what is crypto? Crypto is basically everybody's wallet online in, in the layman's terms. So it's a huge, uh, uh, you know, uh, financial revolution, as I said. 
I mean, since the computers are taken taking over the world, you know, whether it's a business decision, product decision, I mean, uh, uh, people's personal life decision, and now this is more uh, secured private wallet decision, you know. So it's that's how it is, and so of course it is easy come easy go. So 99% people try. You know, there is always uh, negatives, positives, mixed reaction. But it's a technology, so it has to stay. Whether it's a different forms, different things, and uh, different government reaction. Crypto and internet, we can't stop anything. Yeah, we, uh, it's a totally digital. See, Dubai is a, it is a, it is a world of, uh, it is like a mini world. You can see everything here. Global it, capital. Yeah, global. Uh, you can say world of, uh, you know, beautiful people. Everybody is here. You can achieve everything and uh, currency, this cryptocurrency is going to be a boom in the uh, shortest time. Because India now already accepted 30% uh, tax only. So it will, uh, most of the Indian people uh, employees having a crypto. So they will invest. Less than 1% of the people and groups. You can say even 20 families are controlling the financial systems of the world. 20 families. There are 8 billion people in the world. Today I told uh, one lady from Europe, there are 8 billion people. She told me, no, there are not 8 billion, only 7 billion people. Then I gave her the uh, statistics. There are 7.94 billion people in the world, counted. Uncounted, maybe 1 billion people more. <laughs> okay, one more question. What is the future of that uh, physical currency? Now, see, j j we were using the digital film cameras in the 90s. You, me and everybody was using the digital yeah. film camera. All of a sudden, the film, digital camera come. Digital camera come. Everybody, in the, the, the 24 hours, the stock of Kodak company becomes zero. 200,000 become, people become jobless. Because now, 90% of the world population, they use internet. 90% of the world population, they use a smartphone. Okay. Now, even a nursery class students, they can open a wallet, mobile wallet, in a matter of one minute. <laughs> one minute they can open a wallet. You go to the trust wallet, you go to the thousands of wallets wallet there. Can... Shub wallet. Two okay. Yeah. You have an account. You can receive and send money from any part of the world.